Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all having a lovely day. This video is entitled, Dear Diane. I'm referring to the lady in Leeds who's up in court, who's threatened to put a bullet in mine and Graham's head and the Buckingham Palace bomb threat. A very good friend has just sent me a screenshot. I don't actually watch Diane's social media, but she clearly cannot stop being on social media. And I feel every time I'm sent a screenshot of her posts that she is talking to me. Well, she is talking to me. Um, I, I can't see who else she's talking to. And so firstly, I'm going to read out what she has posted and then I'm going to address this to Diane herself and talk to her because this is the only way, Diane, I know to talk to you. The criminal justice system doesn't offer at this stage um, a way for us to talk to each other. That's not the way it works. And I know that now you are taking it seriously and you are frightened and you're beginning to realise now. So I'll, I'll read out what she said to do her justice. Um, and then I'm going to have a chat with her about it. Oh, and I open the window. Oh, here we go. Above written before today's appointment, update at 6.48 p.m. For those nasty, vile, bully stalker YouTube hate accounts, trolls, hard of understanding, as evidenced, putting in a plead means you are sound of mind and wish to plead either guilty or not guilty, geez. Nobody but nobody in their right mind wishes to be not of not be of sound mind, whatever the consequences in the criminal justice system. Unless you are smarter, more intelligent and more educated than consultant forensic psychiatrist, and I won't name him, um, then zip it and I've told him all about your stalking and harassment of West Yorkshire Police. My judge, CPS, that I couldn't have a solicitor in case he, she was stalked and harassed too. Dr. Quinn, uh, sorry, <laughs> personal secretary will be warned about you and the psychiatrist was, I'm sure, would be appalled and disgusted at the number of threatening, cruel, bullying, lying, menacing videos. Now, I might tag this forensic psychiatrist's name in this so he can see this video. And I mean, he can look up all the other videos. He can look, search for her name. And he can look at the whole story. But that's not actually his job, Diane. Let's start with that. What is a forensic psychiatrist? Now, I've looked into this. A forensic psychiatrist is someone who has legal expertise and psychiatric expertise and can assess somebody to see if they are of sound mind to plea, to make sure they understand the severity, what's going on. The court has a duty of care to make sure that you understand and you've not made it clear up until now that you understand, but I mean, that's, that's all irrelevant. So she will have had this meeting with this guy today. And he is um, an expert. He's an expert witness. He's an expert in his field. And he is connected to a secure psychiatric facility, which I've also looked up. And I've tweeted about it. Yes, I have, Diane. Because you really frightened and upset our family. But I also understand and appreciate, especially from the tone of that particular post, that you're probably feeling very, very frightened and very, very stressed. I don't know if you have family members, I'm assuming you do. They also must be very, very stressed. 
I doubt very much if any of them have gone along with your idea that your plan all along was to be arrested, to be up in court, that you were going to be a world famous tortured character uh, in order to save or, or create peace in the Middle East. Um, I understand those sim sentiments and stuff, but um, it's muddled thinking, Diane. And I don't know you. I don't know who the fuck you are. Never heard of you before in my life. The reason you came into my stratosphere and my family's stratosphere is because of your threatening and abusive, and, and there were a lot, there, there were a lot, come on, Diane, there were a lot. You didn't just make the old, old faux pas, fuck me. <laughs> there were hundreds of tweets. So let's have a big conversation about mental health generally. So like not picking on Diane. Um, it would appear to me that there are a lot of people who are of sound mind and body who just lose their fucking minds, get carried away on social media and say all manner of shit. Now me, I'm actually a really fucking patient person. I take a lot. I take a really bucket loads, fucking truck loads before my temper finally snaps. I mean, this other psychiatric patient who's running half a dozen accounts, you know, buying our son's birth certificate and then making videos about how I'm a fraudulent mother and my son doesn't actually exist. Therefore, my daughter doesn't actually exist. I mean, it's clear as a bell to me. He's not fucking well. Um, uh, you, Diane, posting photographs of our daughter with uh, graphs of deformed people or illnesses and, and declaring repeatedly, which is what you've done for over a year, that I'm a crackhead when I fucking loathe cocaine and drugs. And you don't seem to understand how much that hurts and damages people, damages the family, all this bollocks about I've dug tunnels under the sea between my house and my boat in Gibraltar and that we're smugglers and that we have guns. I mean, there are real life consequences, Diane, to what you do. Now, it sounds to me what the, the road that the court are going down, this is not just about whether you're fit to plead or not. They're going to have to deal with you one way or another because you're being a nuisance. You're, you cannot go out into the world and behave like this. From when I was a little girl, I was told to be on time, walk up the staircase on the banister side when I come down on the other side, when I want to tie my shoelaces up, step to the side so I'm not in the way of everybody else. There were manners, there were standards. These days, social media, anything goes. Because if you dare to say to someone, you're a rude fucker, don't fucking do that then, oh, oh, someone's offended and upset. Um, well, it's called bloody manners. I mean, in my day, if you didn't learn it all at school and you went out into the big wide world acting like that, you get a punch on the beak and a fucking split nose and then you'd learn. These days, so I don't hold Diane entirely responsible for her own actions, largely, yes. But I don't think she really, well, I'm trying to talk to you, Diana. I don't think you realise, Diane, you can't pump that shit out there. It's not okay. I don't want you to be stressed. I don't, you, you're going to lose your Christmas. Whether you're at liberty for Christmas or not, you've lost your Christmas because inside your mind, you're going to be so stressed and worried and nobody wants that. You've done that to yourself. You're not globally famous. I never heard of you. I had no idea of your existence. I am not bullying West Yorkshire police when they call me and take a statement. That's not bullying. That's not harassing. <coughs> All this nonsense that you and it would appear a lot of other damaged women on Twitter have got carried away with is you've been led astray by either a man who is very, very evil or he himself is very, very sick. Persuading a lot of you very naive and gullible damaged women, and I do believe Diane Durham has been assaulted in the past. I do believe that she has a history of abuse. 
I 100% believe that. Uh, whether he is sick or evil or ill or what his fucking problem is, you women out there, and I include Malice and Viley in this, who, who now believes a sugar account called A. Douglas is definitely a woman. Malice and think about it. It could be a man. It could be a big baldy killer. And you're going, oh, I love A. Douglas. You are so gullible. You are so naive. Wake up. This is the internet. It's been around since 1993. And a lot of people know there's a thing out there called catfishing, where people may create a persona and pretend to be something that they're not in order to gain your confidence and feed you bullshit. Diane, did you never think over the last couple of years why I had not been arrested? You pump out there, I'm on the run, I'm on the run. Did you not see us in London last year when Graham was having his operation? For two months I was in central London living underneath Big Ben. Did none of your common sense think if she's on the run, then the police in the UK would arrest her. I mean, is there no frontal lobe working well? So, okay, I had a little bit of a laugh about padded cells and how these days they call them uh, personal safety rooms. Well, that's because I'm not a fucking psychiatrist. Not my fucking job. Care in the community, for me, doesn't work. I I'm sympathetic. You know, if I go into a supermarket and someone's being all... <laughs> I'll turn up, you know, look away. I'm not going to laugh at anybody. I, I just think poor soul is disturbed. But when they come at my children, when they come at my family, when they threaten to kill my husband, when we are going through cancer, Diane, that is not a fucking joke. Oh God, I really want to sit down face to face and talk to you. Not threaten you, not bully you. I felt I feel like banging your head against a brick wall, metaphorically speaking. Oh, I can just see that clip going out with all the other damaged, naive, gullible women that have been believing the bloody lunacy and fantasies of yet another loony. It's like a blind leading a blind. Or is it that people are on like strong antidepressants and they just lose perspective or <laughs> is it some effect that social media has on humanity? Because I've been on the internet literally since the day it was born. I remember the days when my ex-boyfriend said, here's the internet. And I went, oh, great, what's that? And it was just a white screen with a flashing cursor. So I thought, oh, so I typed in hello. And I got a message up that said, you are forbidden from being on this server. And I thought, what's a server? Oh, have I broken the law? And it was about six months before a search engine appeared or any form of email. Oh, my God. So these people who've come onto the Internet, at, uh, say, advanced years, <coughs> and their first experience is Facebook, which demands they give their real identity, their real face, show all the stalkers in the world, all their family members, all the people they work with, all the people they went to school with. And then they dump that and they decide to go to Twitter. I mean, the, the leap from Facebook to Twitter is a chasm of disaster. You're taking little innocent kittens that have told everybody every secret in their life. And they leap to this hideous platform, Twitter. And then they think they're anonymous. And obviously a lot of people get found out. And then they get arrested. And then they end up in situations like Diane is in. Well, we're not going to talk, Diane, because that is not the way the justice system works. They wouldn't allow that for your safety primarily. They don't give a damn about my safety. Trust me, they don't. You're quite right about that. They'll take a statement and then they'll look at your situation. And that's very much the point of this video to you. I'm not here bullying you. You came at me and posted tons of shit, including Nino, Nino, no one's knocking on my door. You fucking bitch. Have you got any idea what you have put us through? You're a very, very stupid woman. And it's not like you didn't have a ton of warnings. I warned you and the others over and over and over that this is what it was gonna to come to. Another man has been arrested in Gloucester and there will be others. 
There are screen records of all the trolling and everybody who's posted what, when and where, including the URLs on Graham's channel. Oh yeah, I hear the other little ones bleating about how Graham is stalking the stalkers for daring. Oh no, I'll just lay in the gutter, kick me again, kick me again, kick me again. I won't record any evidence and fucking put it up on the internet. Every day, at least one screen record is going up live and you participated, Diane. Now, this dude, this forensic psychiatrist, he's going to go back to the court and he's either going to say you're not fit to plea or he's going to say you are fit to plea. I suspect he is going to say you are not fit to plea and then the justice system will have to deal with you and then you'll become what they call one of the service users that's the term i believe and you will go to somewhere like fairhead and they will try and make it a comfortable experience and their job will be to try and reason with you like i have tried for the last 12 months good fucking luck to them in the meantime diane start analyzing things start sitting down and thinking clearly you're not going to be all over the newspapers saving Palestine. You're not saving Meghan Markle. She doesn't even know you exist. She doesn't give a crap about you. But your family do. And you've got Christmas coming up. And I do understand that you must be stressed and frightened and confused and you're not sure and full of doubt. Uh, and I do sympathise that and I am not angry, I'm more frustrated. I am so frustrated after so many warnings to you, so many videos saying to you, you're going to destroy your own life. I pray to God that the courts come up with something to get through to your thick skull and get you to understand and realise you can't go out in the world and shit on people you don't know, full of judgement. And anyone else who's listening, who, who thinks it's okay, or to say, oh, I've got mental illness, therefore I can. No one knows what other people are going through in life. You don't set foot outside your front door and crap all over strangers because you think it's okay. It's not okay. It's antisocial. And that's how you end up in a mental secure unit. Thank you, everybody, very much for tolerating this and listening.